Hi, I'm Alex McCrickard, and this is the Fishing Report for the month of February in Virginia. In this month's Fishing Report, we're going to highlight angling opportunities at Lake Orange, a department-owned impoundment in Orange County, Virginia. We're going to highlight a couple techniques that have been working recently to target fish in cold water conditions. Before we get into Lake Orange, I wanted to take a moment to congratulate angler Jeff Groh. After watching our January Fishing Report, Jeff got out on Lake Chesden and found success fishing shallow in cold 40 degree water. Nice largemouth and an impressive chain pickle, Jeff. Thanks for sharing. Lake Orange is a 124 acre department owned impoundment located in Orange County in Central Virginia. This lake is in close proximity to Charlottesville and Fredericksburg and makes for an easy day trip for folks living in these areas. Lake Orange is surrounded by a combination of hardwood forests and rolling farmland making for a scenic setting. Lake Orange is a eutrophic reservoir. High in nutrients and high in productivity, this reservoir supports a diverse warm water fish assemblage. There's great populations of largemouth bass, in addition to bluegill, red ear sunfish, black crappie, and even some chain pickerel and yellow perch. We also stock this lake on an annual basis with walleye, saw guy when we have them, in addition to channel catfish. And this really provides additional diversity to the fishery. Uh, there's a very strong population of gizzard shad, which provides a good forage base for the fishery here at Lake Orange. Lake Orange has a fair amount of shoreline access in addition to a DWR boat ramp. There is also a large fishing pier with cover that is popular for bank anglers. Anglers with John boats will enjoy this lake as it is trolling motor only. DWR has installed several fish attractor reefs and these are marked on our map located on our website. While a large proportion of the largemouth bass in Lake Orange are in the 9 to 15 inch range, there is always the chance to land a trophy as Daryl Kennedy shows with this large winter fish. Daryl Kennedy runs the concession at Lake Orange called Angler's Landing. The concession is open from mid-March through mid-October and Daryl sells bait in addition to tackle, food, and he even rents John boats outfitted with trolling motors. This concession provides additional resources for anglers visiting the lake. Fishing in the winter months can sometimes be tough and it can be really beneficial to be patient and fish slow. On a recent trip, uh, fisheries chief Dr. Mike Bednarski found success on Lake Orange fishing in 20 feet of water with a hair jig. Here at Lake Orange with another small bass fishing 43 degree water with an eighth ounce hair jig. Caught that fish out of about 20, 21 feet of water. Um, I really like throwing a hair jig in cold water, eighth ounce, six pound test line. Um, you know, everybody's got their own favorite kind of hair to throw on a hair jig. This one's actually tied with hair from my border collie mix. I just found that it's got a really great um, flow in the water. It wets out nicely, it dries nicely. And um, those of you with that type of a dog know it's got plenty of hair. So um, it's been a producer for me, um, something worth trying. I'm gonna get this fish back in the water and see if I can't catch another one. Another technique to consider trying in the winter months is fishing low uh, with a blade bait. Um, if you're fishing in deep water and fish are holding tight to the bottom, this is a great, um, great way to kind of get in the strike zone and stay in the strike zone. You can fish these horizontally by casting them out and jigging them towards you, or if you're directly over top of a school of fish that you're marking on the sonar, you can jig these vertically. But really, this lure sits upright in the water column, and as you jig it, it does a very tight vibration upwards followed by a slow pendulum swing downwards. And it's that sort of tight wobbly jig upwards followed by that slow pendulum swing that oftentimes will uh, entice that fish to strike on the drop. Um, these come in a variety of sizes. They come in a variety of colors. Um, there's a lot of different brands on the market, but it's a great way to kind of stay low in the strike zone, especially in, in cold water uh, conditions. Thanks for tuning in to this month's Fishing Report. Please comment below. Let us know what body of water you would like to see featured in a future Fishing Report. Also, please stay tuned and look for our virtual Introduction to Fly Tying event, which will be hosted later in the month of March. If you're interested in watching more Fishing Report videos or reading up on some of our fishing forecasts, check out the uh, Fishing Forecasts and Reports section of our website. The link is in the caption below. There you can watch Fishing Reports from previous months that we filmed in addition to reading up on forecasts for large impoundments, small impoundments, as well as species specific forecasts like fishing for walleye throughout Virginia. Stay tuned, we'll see you on the water.